Hello everybody, in this lecture we will be solving 2006 IMO problem number 1. Here is a view of this problem. Uh, we are given a triangle ABC with in center I. Let me make a rough sketch of this triangle. So we have this triangle ABC here. That's the point A, B and C. And we would like to locate the angle bisectors which would simply bisect the opposite um, um, arcs like this I would say so this is an angle bisector this one is also an angle bisector because it uh, bisects the arc as finally this one the final angle bisector which bisects the opposite arc um, so let's put this following decoration so that's our point I and then we are told about the existence of a point P inside this triangle such that the following relationship uh, holds um, I would like to start uh, with the following observation. When I check these angles, namely PBA plus PCA, so if you locate more or less uh, P, uh, let's say P somewhere here, I can revise it if I uh, feel it's not a nice point, but uh, we are talking about the angles B and C split by, this, uh, by these lines PB and PC, PBA plus PCA would be simply this angle and that one here. And finally, PBC and PCB would simply be this angle and that one here. So, therefore, you can see that all these red colored angles, they add up to the uh, angle B plus C. And I claim B plus C is simply equal to the sum of these two, the left hand and the right hand side of the given uh, equation plus... The second part, angle PBC plus angle PCB. And as a result, that would simply be two times angle PBC plus angle PCB. Now, I hope this is clear now. So as a result, huh, so we have this. Now it, um, or if you will, I can even take that one half to the other side. And that's what I'm going to do next. But First, let's uh, compute uh, a couple of angles, especially this angle here I'm curious about, angle BPC. Angle BPC is simply equal to 180 degrees minus angle PBC, PBC minus angle PCB, angle PCB. But that's, if we put a parenthesis here, but that's uh, decidedly equal to one half of B plus C. So therefore we have 180 degrees minus one half of angle B plus angle C. But sure enough, angle B plus C can be replaced by uh, 180 degrees minus angle A. And that would simply give us finally 90 degrees plus uh, angle A over 2. So that's the degree measure of angle BPC. In a similar way, it's possible to calculate angle BIC. Let's do it next. Um, I can probably do it underneath here. So angle BIC is simply equal to 180 degrees minus, if you focus on triangle BIC, minus angle B over 2 minus angle C over 2. And this would simply be equal to 180 minus 1 half angle B plus angle C. But that's simply 180 degrees minus one half, 180 degrees minus angle A. And that's um, not a surprise. We've done it previously here. That's simply 90 degrees plus angle A over 2. So what we've got is that these two angles are equivalent. But that implies, so the equivalence of these two angles, angle BPC and angle BIC being equal to each other, would simply imply that uh, quadrilateral B, P, I, C, these points are concyclic. So therefore, these points lie on a circle. And if you wonder what that circle is, uh, you would just remember the uh, in-center, x-center lemma. Uh, and that would simply be the circle centered at the point uh, at the midpoint of arc BC. In fact, this circle has some very nice properties, including the fact that obviously these lengths are all equal. So LB is equal to LI, which is equal to LC. Let me write that down. 
LB equals LI, which is equal to LC. As a result, it's obvious that it is also the circumcircle of this triangle BIC. But what's interesting is P is on that circle as well. Uh, now, uh, finally, we are to show that AP is greater than or equal to AI. For that, I recommend you focus your attention on triangle APL. If you focus your attention on triangle APL, and if we apply the triangle inequality on that uh, on that triangle, so on triangle APL, apply triangle inequality. Let's write that down. Apply triangle inequality on triangle APL. So we would have AP plus PL. Uh, greater than or equal to AL, but this is equivalent of saying AP plus PL can be replaced with, because L is the center of this circle and P is on that circle, LI is greater than or equal to, um, we can split a AL as AI plus um, LI, right, so it's the sum of the two, but then the LIs would simply cancel out, implying therefore that AP would simply be greater than or equal to AI and with equality condition holding only when huh, equality holds if uh, P coincides with I obviously if P happens to be on that line the triangle inequality um, uh, is no longer applying with a strict but only as an equality because we no longer have a triangle but we have a degenerate triangle or a straight line actually but that clearly solves the problem we have shown that AP is greater than or equal to AI and that solves the problem and hope to see you guys in our next video